Have you thought about cutting the cord and getting rid of cable so you can lower your monthly bills? Well in this video I'll be covering one of the best live TV streaming services you can get your hands on. Well in some countries. I mean because it's not available everywhere in the world. Hey what's up, my name's Johnny and if you're new here and you want to learn more about useful and practical technology then go ahead and hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you can get a notification each time I upload a new video. So today we're going to be talking about YouTube TV. Like YouTube itself, it's another streaming service but this is live TV so you get all the cable channels that you would with your regular cable service. The best part about it is the fact that the price is way less than traditional cable service. All you need is internet to do it and you can access it on many devices such as your TV, your computer and any of your handheld devices. You can access it on streaming devices such as Roku, Apple TV, Xbox and a lot of the newer smart TVs out there. So I do want to talk about one of the negatives. Unfortunately, it is not available to everyone in the world. So YouTube TV is only in select countries and select areas at that. It is growing and Google is a very large company so I can't see why they aren't going to expand to the rest of the world. So the way it works is you go to tv.youtube.com and you sign up for service. Right now at the recording of this video, prices are $49.99. And that includes 70 plus live TV cable channels, which also includes your local channels so you can get news and sports locally wherever you live. Another awesome feature of it is the fact that you don't have to get on a contract. So if you want to, you can cancel the service at any point in time. You just pay month to month. And if you don't want it anymore, you can just cancel. So some of the major or popular channels that you do get with YouTube TV are CNN, ABC, NBC, ESPN, the Disney Channel. Now, unfortunately, it does not come with Nickelodeon or Nick Jr., which kind of hurt my family a little bit because my children do like to watch a little bit of their Nick Jr. But it also has channels like HGTV, Fox channels, NBA TV, TNT, TBS, and many, many more great channels. Now, one of the features that it has above all the rest of the competitors in the field is the fact that you have unlimited cloud storage for DVRing. So a lot of the live TV streaming services right now don't allow you to record to the cloud or they have a limited number of hours that you can store. So with YouTube TV, you can store as much as you want, whenever you want, and not a problem. Now I did spend a few months using DirecTV Now to test it out and see how it worked, and what I found is that they have a 20 hour limited storage of your DVR. And when you try to record certain things, it wouldn't allow you to based on different circumstances. With YouTube TV, I found everything that I wanted to record, I could. And speaking of recordings, because it's on multiple devices, so you have it on your phone, you have it on your computer, and you have it on your TVs, you can pull up those recordings at any point in time, anywhere you're at, as long as you have internet service. And so you don't get mixed up. If you have multiple people in the home who want to record different shows, then you can create six different accounts on your one YouTube TV account. Now, each one of those have their separate DVRs. So if they want to, they can record whatever they want on their account and it won't affect the others. So it makes finding your favorite TV shows much easier if you have your own account. But with those six accounts, you can only stream three TVs simultaneously. Now this is one better than the DirecTV Now, which you can only stream two TVs simultaneously. So to talk about the DVR feature a little bit more, you are limited to keeping recordings for nine months. So at the nine month mark, they will be deleted. The other thing is, is when you go to record a show, it actually doesn't just record that show. If you click record, then what it'll do is it'll record every one of those different shows. And at first I found this as a problem. I was like, well, this is kind of weird. I don't want every single show. But what I found is it's not bad because I have unlimited storage. So there's no reason to not have them all. And I can always delete ones that I don't want. But I've never found myself doing that. I just leave them there and I just watch what I want to watch. It categorizes it really well within the apps which makes your library very easy to navigate and find the shows you want to find. So earlier I talked about all the channels that were available on the basic plan. But what you can do is you can upgrade that plan by paying a little bit more. You can get different channels such as premium sports channels or the Showtime channel or even the Stars channel. And there's a bunch more you can get. You just have to look at the package options when you're going to sign up. And if you want to see all the channels that are available in your area, just head over to tv.youtube.com. Then you can put in your zip code and you can see all the available channels within your area. So you can see all the local channels that you would get along with your package. Now to talk about the TV streaming itself. So with watching live TV, you are going to get commercials. So just like regular TV, you have commercials built into the shows that you're watching. And when you DVR shows, you're going to get those commercials inside of those shows too. Now there's an exception here though. Some of the shows will allow you to skip. 
so you can you can fast forward over those commercials and get back to your show but certain network shows won't allow you to so you will have to watch through the different ads all right so I'm gonna talk a little bit about the insights so you can kind of see what it looks like and check out the layout so when you arrive in, you're gonna find yourself on the home page or the home screen. That's gonna have shows that you might wanna watch or and or were watching previously. And then it'll also have a section of suggestions that you may want to add to your library or your DVR storage. From there, if you wanna check out the live TV show, you can click on the live TV tab and that'll bring up your channel guide with little thumbnails beside each one of the listings. You can cruise through all the different listings and then choose the one you want and there you go, you have live TV. You can pause at any point in time and it's indefinite so you can just pause it, you can leave it and you can come back and you continue watching. If you want to record, you can hit the little plus sign and it'll add it to your library, aka DVR, and then it'll be saved for a later date for you to watch. Now if you want to watch your DVRs later, you're going to head to the library tab which is on the left of the home tab. Inside of there you'll find all your recorded shows organized in a very neat way. At the top of it it's going to show you the new in your library so all the things that have just previously been recorded will be in there. But you can go through and you can look through the different shows and you can choose the episode you want to watch. And if you want to stop recording something just click on the show and inside there there'll be a little stop button. Click on that and it'll stop recording that series. So another great thing about YouTube TV is you can change the resolution in which you watch it. So if you want to watch at a lower resolution to save some bandwidth, or if your bandwidth is kind of running slow and you want to lower it down so you can have a more smooth streaming, just open up one of your shows and go in the bottom right hand corner and click on the settings icon. Inside of there you'll be able to adjust your resolution. So you can put it on auto or 144p or you can go all the way up to 1080 and watch an HD resolution and enjoy that high quality live TV. The service offers a lot and for the price it's way less than cable TV. So for me it's a good deal. I'm going to take it. I'm going to enjoy my live TV while paying way lower prices. If you found that helpful then please hit the like button and remember if you want to learn more about useful and practical technology then hit the subscribe button. And if you're looking for a device to use the YouTube TV service on, check out this video on the Roku right here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.